Hey tubers, part three of um, phone, uh, cell phone etiquette. I wore my straw hat because it's a hot day and I'm going out after this. I um, wanted to talk about the etiquette and the usage of a cell phone in a car. I'm going to be reading. Uh, it says, calling on your cell phone and texting from a moving vehicle is a serious safety concern. Carrying on a phone conversation affects the driver's concentration and diverts his or her attention from the road. Many municipalities have outlawed cell phone use while driving. Hands-free phones may lessen the risk somewhat, but the smartest choice is to pull into a parking area before making a call or on the shoulder of the road. Reception of cell phones in the car usually requires that the caller is in a louder than the normal voice, annoying the person on the other end. So keep the calls short. And also, it's a good idea to let your phone mate, the person you're calling, know if there are other people in the car who will overhear the conversation. In airplanes, every electronic device must be turned off before takeoff. They mean it. I mean, it's dangerous, not just irritating to the people sitting next to you, plus you're breaking a law. In buses and trains, especially uh, conducive to cell phone blunders, the most common problem is volume. So keep conversations short and soft. Try to limit your calls to those that are really necessary. If you travel by train, you can make your calls from the hallway area or, or better yet, from the platform before you board the train. So if you must take a call, speak as quietly as you can, turn off the ringer, switch to vibrating mode, and check your call ID or capture your messages via email. Keep the calls as short as possible. The longer the call, the greater the irritation in those who have no choice but listen to your conversations. Turn off your phone in the train or bus or a house of worship, doctor's office, many public areas nowadays you have to turn the phone off. Another thing people are addicted to cell, is, is to cell phones is when you go to the public bathroom and talk on the phone or text, which is very, very, very rude. You're in the stall, you're in the bathroom trying to take care of your business, but you're busy talking on the phone and texting. Paper and pen are fading away day by day. With modern technology, people no longer have address books to write down phone numbers because they're stored in their cell phone. So essentially, if you lose or misplace your cell phone, you're doomed. You just cannot function because you can't get a hold of anybody. You cannot remember anybody's number off head. So the best thing, do it the old fashioned way like I do it. Write the numbers down in your phone book and your little notepad and you know you'll have the numbers for a long time even after the, the cell phones are gone you'll still have the numbers that's all i wanted to say about the cell phones um tubers and i realized that i had mixed the information in two of my videos so i'm gonna erase those and bring these two um the next subject i'll talk about today will be how to strike a conversation and keep the conversation going yeah i'm still listening to my music Hope all this information is important and you can apply to it. Just go, as, go along as I read um, because that's what happened. I tried not to read last time and I left out a lot of information. Hey, two bears. I'll wait for the next video, kichow.com.